Good evening and welcome to this evening's evening prayer. I am experimenting a little bit in as much as we have the projector screen working and we are trying to use sound as well. Partly to make sure that you can hear the music uh, well enough and partly to ensure that we do not inf infringe any copyright. I'd like to assure everybody that the church is fully copyright compliant. However, the bots that exist at Facebook and YouTube are just that, they're bots, they're not people. And so it's harder to, uh, to be able to reason with a computer. So we are trying it now, and if this doesn't work, I do apologise, uh, but we'll hopefully try and get everything sorted uh, as we approach Easter. So uh, you may see a few differences and a few trials of different bits and pieces as we get ourselves geared up and ready for, to celebrate Easter. But we'll have a few moments of stillness before we begin our evening prayer. We'll be starting on page 17 of our prayer booklet. O God, make speed to save us. O God, make haste to help us. Come bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord. You that by night stand in the house of the Lord, lift up your hands towards the sanctuary and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth give you blessing out of Zion. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. So our first psalm for this evening is Psalm 42. As the day longs for the water brooks, so, my soul's, so longs my soul for you, O God. My soul is a thirst for God, even for the living God. When shall I come before the presence of God? My tears have become my bread day and night, while all the day long they say to me, Where is now your God? Now when I think on these things, I pour out my soul, how I went with the multitude and led the procession to the house of God, for the voice of praise and thanksgiving among those who kept holy day. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul, and why are you so disquieted within me? O put your trust in the God. For I will yet give him thanks, who is the help of my countenance and my God. My soul is heavy within me, therefore will I remember you from the land of Jordan, and from Hermon and the hill of Mizra. Deep calls to deep in the thunder of the waterfalls. All your breakers and waves have gone over me. The Lord will grant his loving kindness in the daytime, though the night his song will be with me, a prayer to the God of my people. I say to my God, my, my, to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? And why go I so heavily with the enemy oppress me? As they crush my bones, my enemies mock me. While all the day long they say to me, where is now your God? Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why have you been so disquieted within me? O put your trust in God, for I will yet give him thanks, who is the help of the, my countenance, and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our second psalm for this evening is Psalm 43. Give judgment for me, O God, and defend my cause against an ungodly people. Deliver me from the deceitful and the wicked. For you are the God of my refuge, why have you cast me from you? And why go I so heavily while the enemy oppresses me? O oh, send out your light and your truth that they may lead you, and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling, that I may go to the altar of God, to the God of my joy and gladness, and on the lyre I will give thanks to you, O oh God, my God. Why are you so full of heaviness, O oh my soul, and why are you so disquieted within me? O put your trust in God, for I will yet give him thanks, who is the help of my countenance and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading is coming from the book of the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 23, starting at the ninth verse, 
and going through to the 32nd verse. Concerning the prophets, my heart is crushed within me, all my bones shake. I have become like a drunkard, one like one who is overcome by wine. Because of the Lord and because of his holy words, for the, Lord, for the land is full of adulterers, because of the curse the land mourns, and the pastures of the wilderness are dried up. Their cause has been evil, and their might is not right. Both prophets and priests are ungodly. Even in my house I have found their wickedness, says the Lord. Therefore their way shall be to them like slippery paths in darkness, into which they shall be driven and fall. For I will bring disaster upon them in the year of their punishment, says the Lord. In the prophets of Samaria I saw a disgusting thing. They prophesied by Baal and led my people Israel astray. But in the prophets of Jerusalem I saw a more shocking thing. They committed adultery and walk in lies. They strengthened the hand of evildoers so that no one turns from wickedness. All of them have become like Sodom to me and its inhabitants like Gomorrah. Therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts concerning the prophets, I will make them eat wormwood and give them poisoned water to drink. For from the prophets of Jerusalem, ungodliness has spread throughout the land. Thus says the Lord of hosts, do not listen to the words of the prophet who prophesy to you. They are deluding you. They speak visions of their own minds, not from the mouth of God. They keep saying to those who despise the word of the Lord, it shall be well with you. And to all who are stubbornly following their own stubborn hearts, they say, No calamity shall come upon you. For who has stood in the counsel of the Lord, so as to see and hear his word? Who has given heed to his word, so as to proclaim it? Look, the storm of the Lord. Wrath has gone forth, a whirling tempest. It will burst upon the heads of the wicked. The anger of the Lord will not turn back until he has executed and accomplished the intent of his mind. In the latter days you will understand it clearly. I did not send the prophets, yet they ran. I did not speak to them, yet they prophesied. But they stood in my counsel. Then they would have proclaimed my word to my people, and they would have turned them from their evil ways and from the evil of their doings. Am I a God nearby, says the Lord, and not a God far off? Who can hide in secret places so that I cannot see them, says the Lord? Do I not fill heaven and earth, says the Lord? Have I heard what the prophets have said who prophesied lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed. I have dreamed. How long will the hearts of the prophets ever turn back? Those who prophesy lies and who prophesy the deceit of their own hearts. They plan, to, they plan to make my people forget my name by their dreams that tell them one another, just as their ancestors forgot my name to Baal. Let the prophet who has dreamed tell the dream. But let the one who has my word speak my word faithfully. What has straw in common with wheat, says the Lord? Is not my, fire, my word like fire, says the Lord, and like a hammer that breaks a rock in pieces? See, therefore, I am against the prophets, says the Lord, who steals my words from one another. See, I am against the prophets, says the Lord, who use their own tongues and say, says the Lord. See, I am against those who prophesy lying dreams, says the Lord. And who tell them, and who lead my people astray by their lies and their recklessness, when I did not send them or appoint them, so they did not profit from this people at all, says the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our New Testament reading comes from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 12, starting at the 12th verse through to the 19th verse. The next day, the great crowd had come to the festival, heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. So they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him, shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel! Jesus found a young donkey and sat on it, as it is written, Do not be afraid, daughter of Zion. See, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. His disciples did not understand these things at the first. But when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that these things had been written of him and had been done to him. So the crowd that had been with him when he called Lazarus out of the tomb and raised him from the dead continued to testify. It was also because they heard that he had performed this sign that the crowd went to meet him. The Pharisees then said to one another, 
You see, you can do nothing. Look, the world has gone after him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You have done great things, O God, and holy is your name. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel, to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. You have done great things, O God, and holy is your name. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give thanks for this day, for all that you have done with us and through us. We pray for our schools as they continue to teach and to offer care, both to those children of key workers and to those who are remote. We pray for all children and staff at the schools, for all those who were to undertake their exams, for all those who are feeling out of sorts, and for those who are finding life at home hard. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for all those who are anxious this night, for those who are worried about the, the virus, for those who are concerned for a loved one, for those who are anxious about what is to come. Lord, give your comfort to those who are worried. Give your strength to those who are anxious. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for all those who are in hospital at this time. We pray especially for those who are under the grips of the coronavirus. We pray too for those who are hospitalised for other reasons. We pray for all those who are receiving treatment, for all those who are worried and for their families unable to visit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you give us a quiet night that we may rest in peace and rise in the morning to sing your praise. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, we pray for all who are mourning this night, for all those who have lost a loved one recently, for all those who are worried about funerals, for all those who are missing someone they care about. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for and give thanks for all the work of the, Col uh, the Colnbrook Care Group and the Datchet Corona Volunteers. We pray for all those who are working to help others. We give thanks for their, mi their ministry, for their kindness and their, their compassion. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of glory, by the raising of your Son, you have broken the chains of death and hell. Fill your church with faith and hope. For a new day has dawned, and the way to life stands open, in our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And so let us unite our prayers with the whole company of heaven, saying together the words which Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore.
Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hopefully this video has worked well and the music which I'll be putting back on will be sound as well. Please do join me tomorrow morning for morning prayer which will be at 9am and evening prayer at 5pm. Until we can see each other again, God bless, stay safe and take care.